do you think it's, it's that kind of um, the era that you're from that give you the kind of um, the integrity to keep it moving the way that you do? Because you're not coming from you're coming from where you've had to really work hard to even be a fan of hip hop. Absolutely. So you think you maybe carried that into your music? Because I just wanted to kind of understand like mm -hmm. how you keep putting so much music out so consistently, and yeah. you know you're one of the, the only groups that is like so big in the hip hop scene. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I just I, I just think it's quite a, a extraordinary you know like feat you managed to accomplish like right. being from Europe. Yeah. I mean, um, yeah, you know, in in my case, I can. It's really safe to say that like hip hop saved my life. Like, and I really mean that. It's like I know it's it sounds like some you know well shit that everybody's saying, but but like literally like I I knew already like I dropped school and like I you know I worked a little bit, but and it's not like that I don't like work or something. I I, I work quite a lot though to to buy my first turntables or something. Yeah, you know, like work I work construction right now, and stuff, like you know. So I don't mind like physical work. Mm -hmm. It was just like. I always knew I need to go my own way and um, do my own thing, like no matter what it is. At the back back then, I I didn't even realize that it was basically music, you know, because I just loved to do it, and I was never thinking about like, oh, this is gonna be like some sort of my job or like my income or whatever. I didn't even think about money. I just knew I need to go my way, and I love the music and I like to do that. And so, with that being said, like. Um, now hip hop is 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 really giving me identity and it it feeds me and it's like basically like i said already my passion and and it gives me everything i need so it really saved my life like it, wow. it formed me and and for that i'm always going to be grateful to hip hop and the hip hop culture and i guess that's also another part like why we always going to do our thing and keep it you know basically keep it real and keep, keep it true man. to the culture you know seriously like it's 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 a sort of uh, responsibility you have to you know it's like too many people abusing that and um and and i grew up i'm fortunate enough to grow up in the poorest form of like the 90s hip hop era you know where where people they, Originally, the golden era is the late '80s, though, because yeah. if you look yeah, at it, originally, like, ten years of rap before. Yeah, yeah, before exactly. 90s, right? You know like, what's also funny? Like, like when we when we grow up in that time, for us, that hip hop, like you know, Wu Tang Clan, Nas, Mob Deep, all that '90s stuff. It, for us, for me, that's not old school. But I see now the younger kids; they call that old, old school. school yeah. yeah. For us, the old school is so like the '80s. World, that's like world class wrecking crew. Yeah, exactly. Like that. That's yeah, old yeah, yeah, school, yeah. you know. For us, because it it was that era and like the '90s era. It's like, and but I see now a lot of kids calling that old school already. They're like, oh yeah, you listen like the boom bap sound or whatever. They say, oh yeah, you listen to that old school hip hop. <laughs> and I mean, in a way, it is kind of because now it's like already like twenty years ago, yeah, like yeah, over, yeah. you know, it's crazy. Yeah, it yeah, affects, it affects it's, a lot of us. Like exactly, even me, man. The generation gap sometimes I'm like, damn, like this yeah, sound is yeah. so different. So 